Hey YouTube, this is Praxis Prepper. Uh, first off, I want to apologize. I hate it whenever you turn on a YouTube video and it's some jackass sitting in their car, especially when it has like a really cool thumbnail and it's just like, uh, it's just going to be some dude talking or some gal talking or whatever. Um, the reason I'm in my car right now, though, is because uh, I just dropped off my little boy at preschool. Uh, actually, big sister is kind of helping him to transition. It's been a little bit of a rough transition for him. Um, so it seems to be better if I transition him to her, and then she plays with him a little bit, and then she transitions him to the teacher. It's still a little bumpy. We're trying to smooth it out. But I'm waiting in the car right here, right now for her to come back. And I wanted to talk about education today. And you'd wonder, well, what does education have to do directly with uh, SHTF and, and prepping and everything? Uh, uh, but uh, homeschooling is my angle on it. Uh, and I, I have done homeschooling with, uh, you know, big sister. I'd like to do it with my little guy someday. I think it's a it's a great thing to do. Um, uh, she just graduated from uh, high school and got into a really good university uh, based on her homeschooling experience with tons of scholarship money. You're definitely not closing doors to yourself by homeschooling. It's a great it's a great uh, choice, I think. Um, uh, and what I specifically want to talk about is Common Core. Uh, there's a lot of videos on YouTube just ripping into Common Core, and I think. I have to imagine a lot of them are done by people that don't really know what Common Core is, understand it, and maybe have never really used it or utilized it. For homeschooling, I think Common Core is wonderful. I, I, I'm, I presume it has benefits, and I'm sure it has benefits for the, the public school system. You know, one of them being that kids are learning things at a certain time. So, you know, if a kid transfers from one school system to another, uh, you know, it's not a situation where they already learned something at their last school and now they're like sitting through a class where it's being taught all over again. Or even worse, if they, they've missed something because, uh, you know, uh, they never learned something at their old school and it's already been taught at the new school they went to, so they, they've missed the chance to learn that. So just having everything in sync it makes the, the, all the school systems work in concert with each other. But I'm not talking about public school. I'm talking about homeschooling. And Common Core is wonderful for homeschoolers because it gives you this great roadmap that's already there. And, it, you know, if you're, if you're homesteading, homeschooling, doing all this stuff, you know, time, time is sort of your enemy a lot of, uh, in a lot of situations. Uh, you know, I water my garden by hand. I'll be changing that. But that takes like 20 minutes every, out of every day. Uh, you know, you're homeschooling your kid. That, that takes a lot of time too. So wherever, where, when you're doing a lot of this D, DIY stuff and, and being more, uh, you're, you're outsourcing less, it just takes more of your time. So any time that you can get a shortcut, uh, that's, a, that's a benefit. And, a common, and Common Core is, is great because you don't have to reinvent the wheel. It gives you this great roadmap. And it's, it's, a, it's called Common Core for a good reason. It's, a, it's core ideas that you should be learning. If you think about like a, t a tree, it's the trunk and it's the big branches. And, and it talks about that being kind of the bare minimum that everyone should be uh, learning. And I found it really, really useful. Um, uh, just to make sure I wasn't missing anything. Uh, I, I went through the Common Core curriculum and was, you know, looking through it. I was like, oh yeah, I got to make sure we touch on that, touch on that, touch on that. Uh, I thought it was great. And from everything that I read about it, it again, it's, it's a roadmap. It's a base, it's, it's a base level. It's a floor. It's not a ceiling. Um, and it, unless you disagree with the idea that like, uh, you know, kids should be learning like maybe you're a big uh, proponent of uh, addition and multiplication and division, but you don't think kids should be learning subtra subtraction. I guess then you could have some issues with Common Core because it's it, Common Core suggests that you know there's these bare minimum standards and subtraction might be something you want to teach your kids. Maybe some people have some sort of, sort of ideological issue uh, with certain parts of Common Core, but it seemed to make a lot of sense to me. It's really basic stuff. It's a, the, the trunk of your tree, really. It's a really positive thing, and I think a lot of people rip into it completely unnecessarily. I found it very useful for my own self-sufficiency, you know, educating, uh, you know, my kids. And I think if you look at it, uh, you, you might come to a very similar conclusion, that it's a valuable resource. It's a floor. It's not a ceiling. It's the bones of the skeleton, not the flesh. It's the trunk of the tree. It's not the leaves. And, and you, can, you can bend and shape that tree any way that you want. You know, it, 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 it's a bare minimum that kids are going to have that trunk, those big strong branches, and then you can emphasize whatever you want beyond that. So if you haven't looked at Common Core and you're thinking about homeschooling, check it out. It's a valuable resource. Um, and uh, if you disagree with me, please let me know. If I'm missing something, please let me know. Um, but from my perspective, from my experience, 
Uh, it was a valuable resource. Thank you for watching.